So we're here today at Century Lumber in Torrington to talk a little bit about some different product choices that you have when you're considering constructing your raised bed. Now your first choice might be to go with some kind of a pine such as this rough cut lumber and that can be a nice choice especially when we talk about cost. One of the concerns with this is that it's going to break down and rot a lot faster than some of our other choices that are going to have more of a natural rot resistance such as our cedar and our redwood. Oftentimes we may think about uh, pressure treated lumber. The chemicals that are used even in the, the newer pressure treated wood can still be a concern. So if we use any pressure treated lumber such as this board here or things such as railroad ties that are chemically treated to help preserve their longevity, we want to make sure that we're using a plastic barrier between the lumber and the soil to help prevent any chemical contamination into your soil. Another option could be cinder blocks. If you're going to use them, fill them with dirt, maybe use rebar to help reinforce them and hold them in place. Another option, if you have some livestock watering tubs lying around, these also can make a really nice raised bed. It's really important that you drill holes in the bottom for drainage, as well as cleaning them of any chemical residues that might be present. Uh, this has been Caleb Carter uh, with the University of Wyoming Extension, and you're watching from the ground up.